Let me you know? tell you something, Tam, okay? Because we've had these conversations before. Number one, I tell you, forget what other people are thinking and yes. saying, okay? Yes. I know your kids, okay? And I see how you interact with your children. They love you so much, and I know you know that, but I know sometimes you need to hear that. And I see it, and I know it. So you're not doing anything wrong, you know? But okay. we, you got to stop letting... Sometimes get off those comments. Stop, stop listening to what people are saying. You know what you're doing. You're doing the right thing. But I mean, I just I feel for you because you know I get life from you. Oh, well, thanks. So I want you to know that. So don't stop letting people get into your head. You are doing just fine. Your kids will be just fine. Better than Thank fine. You're doing great. Great. Thank you you want to do it all, mm -hmm. but you don't realize that that's what makes you a dynamic woman. Yes. Is that you feel so much. You want to do it all here. Yeah. And you also want to be that and more there. Yeah. Yes. yeah. And you that's... downplay how much you are there for. Too. Exactly. You're you trying really to act do. like you ain't never there. You are, you are you always are there. there. I see all the videos. Yes. <laughs> she we, comes here and she yes. shows us she's so proud of every little thing they do, every word they say, every step Raya takes. Thank you. You're a phenomenal woman. And they can come here. I know. They welcome yeah. anytime. Yeah. This is cool. I have to tell you, though, coming from a, a mom who worked my entire life, yes, I didn't see my mom and dad, and yes, I was a latchkey kid. Yeah. But I will tell you that today I would never change one thing about the way I grew up because number one, I have independence. You mm -hmm. see me, I'm alone a lot of the time and I'm able to care for myself and I'm not afraid and I don't depend on anybody except God yes. in order to be who I am. That's number one. Number two, I respect a hard working woman who can be that Proverbs 31 example who can do everything and you are that thing. Oh you my God, thank you. Thank you. you are so that. true. And thank I think you. the I last think. blessing before we get over to you yeah. is that you have a husband that you know cares for your children while you're away. That is So true. I think, you know, you have a... I know you might have the guilt, but I just... Like I said, when I, if I feel bad about something, I start thinking why and processing it. Mm -hmm. And I try to think about the good things that's happening. Mm -hmm. Your kids are growing up. You, you know, you, can, you may not get to see them when you go home tonight, but you can look at them. You may not be able to interact, but you're able to look at them. That is and true. you know that they're okay and that they're safe and that, that they're sound. True. So just try Thank to keep Thank you for that perspective, that. Lonnie. Thank you. I appreciate that. I recognize that just listening to you guys talk, a lot of our guilt is attached to family. Mm -hmm. And I, I wonder why that is. You know, obviously those are the things that matter to us the most. And a lot of my guilt, um, I try not to have that much like you, but one of the things that has bothered me um, most recently has been exposing my family to... Mm. Um, mm some of the not so nice things that come with being in the industry. Mm -hmm. You know, I think we don't realize how much it hurts our family when people say, we can handle it, we can take it if somebody talks bad about us. But like, when you have a mom that goes on there and reads those things about a child or you have, which now me and Israel have, you know, with the kids, and for them to read those things, I feel guilty. Mm -hmm. I feel guilty for exposing them to that. Does that make sense? Yes. Mm -hmm to the idea of, and just recently I told you, I was in church and I, I asked these, you know, I just want to say sorry to the kids. Mm. Because somewhere in my heart, I feel like they should never read things about their dad mm. that are like that. And I know those things wouldn't have come if he wasn't dating me. You know what I mean? And some of those things, um, people almost want to go on a witch hunt to yep. find dirt on somebody mm -hmm. because they're attached. And I recognize that, that this man has been successful for years. Mm -hmm. Not a bad word said about him. He starts dating me, and there was so much to say, not just about, you know, family things. And it just, uh, that broke my heart. Again, I can take it, I can handle it, but I don't like seeing the people I love being torn down, torn apart, and being spoken badly about, especially when it's not true. So uh, that guilt... <laughs> Stayed with me, and just until <laughs> recently, I was able to have a real conversation. I thank God that they're such incredible, strong children. I thank God I have a mom that knows better. Mm -hmm. I have a mom that uplifts me and can look into my face and be like, you don't, I know who my baby is. Mm -hmm. And that makes a difference. But um, just until recently, just being able to say I'm sorry mm -hmm. helped me deal with some of that guilt. Just being able to say I'm sorry, if even if indirectly things I didn't intend hurt you, I'm so sorry. Adrian, oh. I will say this, when, 
when I was at um, your wedding, the one thing that I really took away was the fact that those children love, love. you. Yes. Mariah yes. said a prayer. Yes. And it was beautiful. Because I've never seen the dynamic of, uh, you know, stepchildren. Mm -hmm. I, I haven't. And if there's going to be a positive and beautiful example, it's what I saw. So you don't have to, you don't have to worry about that because those children, they love you just as you are. They do. And they know who you are. And that was beautiful to yes. see. Mm -hmm. And your, your children now, more than anything, they see how you love Israel. We see how you love Israel. And that love is incomparable to anything in their entire life that Israel is a different man because of you. And Israel asked you to marry him. Israel put that ring on your finger and Israel swept his family into your arms and made this a full circle of love because of you. That wouldn't have happened because of you. Yeah. And it's gonna, you know, we live in, in, in some different times right now. And your social media, as you can tell, is a big part of our lives. And this yeah. is something that, you know, we signed up for. Mm -hmm. um, before we go, I just want to check back in with you. Um, did you apologize to your family member? Are you okay? Um, I think sometimes some people need some time to really accept an apology. Mm -hmm. I did, but I gotta get myself out of this guilt because I know I could do better and I should have done better, but I'm going to do that from here on out. That's awesome. That's really lovely.